Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today I think the plan is going to be how to have your reptile deal with the heat. So today it's going to be around about 32 to 34 to 36 which is a little bit too hot for some of the reptiles, sometimes it's perfect but so it's a how the reptiles are going to deal with the heat day today. So I think it's going to be very important especially with the temperature, everybody around here, everyone's going to be asking me about it, so we'll do a little video, everyone can watch it, everyone can learn, and then, then nobody has to ring me then, everyone can just go out and watch this video. So it will be really good, we can go around show each one, what I'm going to do for each different thing, so, oh, I'm going to tell you what we do with the fish as well. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be most of today's video, I've got, it's probably got to do a bit more cleaning on their side, uh, but yeah, really, really good day. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. Um, and I shall see you in a bit. So I realised yesterday, we never got our chameleon I ordered. Because we were so busy yesterday, I didn't even realise and how excited I was to get my geckos. Didn't even realise. So, I don't know. But, for some reason, this was at Manjits again. Down at the corner shop. Live animal. So, we'll see what we got from, uh, I know which supplier it is, because it's only one supplier that does this. But, oh well. I'll, uh, I'll get it open for you, and we'll have a butcher's. So we're all ready for the big reveal. What's Alex got in his magic box? Could it be something really cool? I don't know, it's only a tiny box, so I don't think it's going to be anything really cool. We've got morning geckos. Look how cute he is. Oop. What pair of morning geckos? Lovely jubbly. They're so tiny. Oops, sorry mate. Look how tiny. That's so tiny. And I thought my geckos yesterday were small. So we just had the pond delivery. Look what I've got. Massive clams are in your pond. How cool is that? Oh my god! I got fish. I got lilies. No, I ain't got fish. I got snails and lilies and all the oxygenators and stuff like that. How cool is this? How cool is this? So I'm gonna put them in the cold water room and um, yeah, come get some clams. Woo! So I put the clam the mussels in. I keep calling them clams, but they're mussels. Uh, so uh, we we'll put them in like this now. So we got two, two and two, and we're gonna see if they move or if they do anything weird. So uh, we'll come back in about half hour to an hour and see if anything's changed. Okay, so tanks and the overheating. So main thing is we don't want the lights on, basically. Um, it's plenty warm enough in here. It's 30 in here it is at the moment. Is it 30? We'll double check, am I right? Oh, it was close. 29. 29 we are. So, still pretty warm. So, um, which is plenty enough for them. So we don't want it going above that. If we start, we start getting above that, I can't control the levels then. We've got to try and bring it down. So, what we need to do, so I've got one here. So this one, it's on 32 up there. So we need to put that down to 28. We want everybody on nighttime temperatures, which is 28. So if we put everybody down to 28, then the only time they should come on is at night time if it gets cold. So that's that should be perfect for us, uh, temperature-wise. Um, yep, so I think that's but 28 is definitely the best. Put everything down to 28. Um, so then, if they want to get if if they want to get warmer, the, the the tank's warm anyway. So, yeah, I think that's be the best case scenario. You want to keep it uncovered because I cover mine up on the night time to keep the heat in. If you do the same, don't cover them up. Let the heat vent and keep an eye on the temperature. If it goes above 32, 34, you might have to just open the tank, get some blow, put some air in there or something, or open a window and try and get a cross breeze in the room you're in. Because we don't want them getting too hot. Cause this is, this is the if you're going to lose a lizard, it's usually overheating is the most common. Overheating and um, bad diet. So, 
I'm going to tell you some other little tips and tricks I've got for keeping them cool. And um, even the desert animals we can do this for. And um, as soon as we've done that, we can um, crack on. I'll show you the rest of the stuff we're doing today. So we've got all the temperatures turned down now, so we've got all the lights are off. Um, so now we've got to try ways of cooling them down. So we could, there's a, a way I've been doing is in the morning we come in, get a little ice cube, put an ice cube in each bowl. So it just drop, cook, reduces the temperature, I use uh, nice RO water so there's not, not tap water or anything like that, so don't have to worry about it. Um, we just plonk it in, it defrosts nicely, drops the temperature in the bowls a bit and uh, we don't go mad, it's just one little ice cube. Depending on the bowl, you can put a slightly larger ice cube in if you've got a bigger bowl. Uh, but yeah, it does it lowers the temperatures, so they can get down and get some fresh water, some nice cool water. Um, and take them out, take them out, let them have a bit of um, handling and um, give them a bath, give them a soak. I got my snakes out last night. I um, filled the sink up with nice fresh cold water, and they all, and they all went in and had um, different. Uh, 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 sorry, I'll start again. They all. They. Uh, I took it in turns, take them in. They go down, have a bath, have a drink of cold fresh water, and they absolutely loved it. They did. So, yeah, nice cold water in the water bowls. I mean, if you don't want to put an ice cube in, just change it two or three times a day, just so it's nice and fresh, because it's going to get really warm and. And not very nice. So fresh waters is another little tip just to keep yourself, your tank and your lizard a little cooler. So if you're more tropical and humid animals, all we need to do is to spray them a bit, bit more. So we've got the little rainbow boas in here. Oh, there's my spray bottle. If you get the spray bottle. So she's had one spot. So I've added an extra spray to the routine. So we've got morning spray, afternoon spray, before I go spray. So we literally top just it's hard to do this is so I'm spraying a lot more of the hides and stuff that I normally do. Normally it's mainly substrate and stuff like that. But this time I'm actually spraying everything down. Just give us a nice good um, covering of water. So we get a nice, nice humid for her. And I've been putting slightly bigger water bowls in as well. So we'll have a little break from the temperatures. And um, we've got to check the little spider, the Brazilian red leg. Because um, she's shed. So we've got to get it out. Um, it's just good hygiene, basically. So we get it out so um, it doesn't bother her or do anything or go funky or anything like that. So. I'll get that done and we're filming all for you because that's what we're here for. Okay, so. Okay. I believe that's the shed. Whoa! Whoa! Someone's got bigger. Oh, I think we're gonna have to get some food for her and see if she wants feeding. So I brought a sacrifice. Is he a little cricket? Where's he go? He's going. I think he knows she's there. Go on. Come out the aisle and grab him. Oh, she's sitting around there, you scared her. So I'll get another one, see if we can drop it right next to her. Got another one.
Oh, look at the size of it! Oh, it's already got the one. We missed it. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, so we missed a feed in. I had to stop because I had a customer. There's our shed. Lovely jubbly. Have another little look at the old spider. Very nice, very nice, doing really well. Woo. She is about as big as my thumb. Brazilian red leg. So another little tip is little cocoa fiber soaking bowls. So you get just a little bit of cocoa fiber. We don't want it soaking wet. We just want it just damp. And then um, so this is this is for the desert lizards. So we can't really have big water bowls in there and stuff like that for them because we don't want it humid. But a little tiny little damp damp bowl for them to go and sit in is absolutely fine. So we've got the crevice lizard. So he's a little lizard. So he's only got a little, little shallow one. So literally, we're putting it in, in the, um, in the cold end. In the cold end, next to his water bowl. So then he can come sit in this, cool himself down if he wants to. And we just put it in there like that, and that's done. Um, and then maybe tomorrow, we give it a little spray, re dampen it. So that's a little, another little tip. We can put one in now for the uh, gecko as well. I learnt this from um, having the pregnant female. So on the hot days like this, she sat in the nest box. Where it's nice and damp, chilled out. So I thought, well, if she likes it, everybody else must like it. And I've been doing it for everybody else, and everybody else does it as well. They come and sit in here, called, they even sleep in here just so it's nice and cool for them. So again, in the cold end, next to his water bowl, happy days. So there's three nice little tricks you can use to um, uh, keep your lizard and stuff cool. So we've got, turn your heat down to 28. Uh, we've got ice, put uh, an ice cube in the uh, water bowl once a day in the morning. You can do it again on the night as well, but we just don't really, we're not putting loads of ice cubes in there. Um, and then we've got the little cocoa fiber damp beds. So nice little area for them to go, sit in, keep damp, keep cool. Um, oh, one more, have a break from the UV for the day. So you can put it on the night time if you want to for a little bit, for an hour or two, just to give them a top up of the UV. But that bowl puts out heat as well. And it's unregulated heat. So we can't control it or anything like that. The bulb's just going to put out that little bit of warm air. So if we can avoid that, we will. So turn the UV, UV off and peak sun. When it's peak sun, turn it off. We, want it, we don't want anything building up the heat. Because, I mean, what are we on now? So we're up to 30 now in here. <whistles> She'd be hot. She'd be hot today. So... Oh, so yeah, a couple of little tricks and tips to keep your lizard happy and safe in the warm weather. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope my tips and tricks have helped in some way. Sorry, my arm got tired. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll think of any others. I'll tell you them as well. But yeah, I think those are the best little tips and tricks that can help you um, get through it all. Oh, and there's um, the other one as well, was if you get um, taking them out and giving them baths, and letting them drink fresh cool water. That was another little tip that can be really good as well. So there's five banging little tips to keep your lizard nice and cool while you're, um, while we've got hot weather. So I mean, we ain't used to this. 30, we're barely at 15 on most, good, that's a good day we're on 15. Cool, so, okay, so we crack on with the rest of today. I think we're coming towards the end now, but uh, thank God. So I'll uh, crack on, show with the rest of the stuff I've done today, and then I will call it the end for the video, I think. I forgot to show you, we've got a new gecko in today, because I've had to do swapses, because this one's been bored in for a while now. 
right boarding. He's been uh, reserved for a while. So he's coming home with me, and I'm going to put a fresh one in there. So I've got another one to sell now. He's been almost in there a month. So um, I'll show you the new one. And then, um, well, you've seen it before, but I'll show you which one it is. So this is the um, Temper Albino. Doing really nice. So the Blizzard's come home with me. And we've set her up now in here with some fresh substrate. But she uh, loves the mealworms and drags them around everywhere and has a massive party when she has mealworms. So, uh, and that's where her main favourite food at the moment is mealworms. There you go, doing really well. But I'll leave her to it now, I don't want to stress out too much because she's still new. Look at that, look how nice and shiny and clean. Oh, a proper job we've done. We're looking really nice now. Nice and clean. Everybody's happy. Everybody's settled. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Look at it. Bing. Bing. Oh, it's nice and clean. So, uh, happy with that. I've got more fish coming Friday. A couple more fighters. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, proper job. Nice and clean. How everything should be. So we've got fighters 9.99 for the standard colours. These two are reserved, and then we've got 18.99 for the metallic dragons. They are stunning, aren't they? The lionfish has come over to say hello. Look how detailed he is, man. What a stunning fish. I've got about the, the mussels, so uh, I thought we'd have a butcher's, see if they've done anything and moved. Um, oh, they haven't moved, but one's done something. That one's flipped over, it was the other way before. Um, mm, very weird. I can't remember any of the other ones, I can't think of anything, any other ones have moved. But that one's definitely rolled over. Definitely rolled over. Very weird. Oh wow, I thought they'd have done something a bit more cool than that. But we'll let them chill, see how they get on. Hello everybody, so we've got all the jobs done today. I hope the heat uh, preventing tips helped you. There's five good ones there that should help you combat with the heat and keep your animal nice and happy in the, in the really hot environment. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed the video today, uh, I've showed you a little bit of the cleaning I've been doing at the same time. I hope you like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you want to watch another video there should be a box there, if you want to watch a playlist it should be up there and if you want to um, subscribe to the channel it's up there. So I shall see you in the future, bye!